so yeah, we leaving Silverstone after two weeks. Uh, it's been yeah two very positive weeks uh, for for us. I would say as a team, with some great qualifying. Um, yeah, the first race, the pace for for uh, Q3, but just uh, uh, the same time as Lance, just a bit later. So we made it through. But then yeah, after with a, a good race, honestly, uh, one of the, the most enjoyable race, good fights with Seb and Lance, also with Magnus and uh, uh, nice overtakings and, and also with Antonio. So uh, yeah, uh, this was fun, P7 in the end. So another, another strong result and more points. So happy with that. This weekend, um, yeah, quali was mega. Q2, I think we're fourth and, and Q3, seventh. So managed to uh, make a step compared to last week. And honestly, the, the team gave me a very strong car. So I was very happy with that. And uh, yeah, today was a bit more complicated. Uh, we had strong start, P7 in front of Lando. And we pitted uh, yeah, quite early compared to, to what we had planned to cover, to cover Albon. Uh, oh. See you next week. Um, Anya yeah, was yeah quite early. I mean, obviously we know the the Red Bull won the race and it wasn't our race, so we'll have to review what we we could yeah. have done better. But after that, I was in the traffic. I had to pass few cars and I had blistering after uh, after five laps, and uh, honestly, it was a nightmare. So I was super slow. All the second stint with the blistering, and uh, yeah, we had to pit again 15 laps after. But we lost a lot of time, so yeah, it wasn't, wasn't fun. And uh, the end, the last stint was strong. We did, I think, almost 30 laps with the, with the hard, but uh, yeah, we just finished out of the points P11, so yeah, quite disappointed with that. But uh, yeah, overall, two positive weeks, and uh, I think we have a a pretty strong package uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to Barcelona and we'll try to, to improve uh, even more and uh, hopefully get some uh, some more points so hopefully you enjoy this week uh, the second triple header so uh, yeah next one is Barcelona and yeah we'll try to make it work summing up the two weekends here in Silverstone I start with the first one um, I thought uh, I was quite happy with the car on Friday and Saturday. I managed to do quite solid laps. I was definitely, it was definitely a step forward uh, for me in terms of feeling from Budapest where I wasn't entirely happy. Now we managed to change the car a little bit and it was all going in the right direction. Uh, I, ha I had a gearbox penalty, so I started almost last uh, in, the, in the first race. And uh, I managed a good start. I recovered a few positions, then I managed to do a couple of overtakes and I was already running in 12th place and uh, then we had a quite strong uh, uh, explosion on the rear right uh, tire and uh, it sent me right into the wall and uh, my race was over there unfortunately nothing I could have done just uh, just bad luck there and uh, uh, unfortunately that day there was a lot of opportunities and I was feeling like I could have scored many points but however that's racing sometimes it happens I had a quite a good start at the first race, uh, almost from last I managed to recover a few positions and uh, I was quite happy uh, with it and uh, it was an important uh, start for the, for the race and uh, I enjoyed it quite a lot. Talking about the second race, uh, I was very happy with the Friday, it was very solid, I was happy with the car, also FP3 was quite strong. Unfortunately in qualifying when I was on a very strong lap, uh, I had a strong gust of wind in uh, turn 15 and uh, I very suddenly lost the rear. Unfortunately, these things happen because these cars are very complicated and uh, these things happen. I was quite frustrated, but unfortunately not much could have been done. However, uh, again, part of racing, part of our complicated sport. I had to accept it and my thoughts were only on the race ahead. I was quite frustrated yesterday and this morning I only woke up with a strong will to do well today in the race. I wasn't planning to mess around, so I tried my best to you know, recover some positions straight away. I had a solid first lap. I started on harder tires than others, so my strategy was to make them last. And we managed to do it very well, and I was happy with how the race was panning out. I had to push very hard in the middle part of the race, trying to gain some positions on the guys behind. I managed to do that, some very strong laps, very fast laps, 
then I, after my last pit I, I exited ahead of a few cars that I managed to overcut and uh, that was the most important part of the race. I tried to take the guys in front of me, I closed the gap, I was already within a couple of seconds but the race was over. So all in all it was a strong uh, weekend to, uh, today and I'm happy with it. It's just uh, next time hopefully with a bit more luck in qualifying I can bring more points home and it will be great. A uh, very quick turnaround between races, we're already going into the next race in Spain this weekend, so it's very fast, uh, a lot of racing and it's good, you know, when, especially when you have satisfying races like this.